Welcome back to Sounds on a Saturday morning. How are you feeling? All right? We have a band that have been together now since 1965. That's when it originated. The Flame and Groovies, two members. Welcome, I'm in. We've got Cyril and we've got Paul. Paul's a new member. Cyril is the guy that actually kicked it off in 65, Chris. Yes. You would have been amongst the people like Rolling Stones and all that in those days. They yeah, well, <coughs> we were pretty young when we started, but um, we were lucky. We got a record deal very quickly mm -hmm. and uh, went on from there for about six years in San Francisco, and then we went over to England. Right. The critics love you. I mean, everything you see is like, this is the best rock and roll band ever, etc. One, in fact, one quote that you've obviously heard a lot is, uh, the best and the greatest rock and roll band that ever lived but never broke internationally. Does that offend you when you read quotes like that? It's uh, not really. I mean, I've, <coughs> I've read other quotes that are much more offensive. <laughs> right. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's this kind of a strange setup because we have never situated ourselves in one area long enough to take advantage. To establish in, yeah. in the way we go. Yeah. You have had records, though, outside of America and England that have been successful, haven't you? Oh, yes. So when they Most, say mostly, never... in, mostly in Europe. You're right. On the continent. When they say you've never broken, I mean, that is totally wrong. We've got Australian groups like Radio Birdman, uh, Hoodoo Gurus, I think you worked with over in America. What did you think of Hoodoo Gurus? Oh, we love them. Yeah? And whenever they come to San Francisco, we go down and... Uh... Yeah, I, I pulled the guitar out and go on stage with him. Pop up. Uh, we toured with Radio Birdman. Uh huh. About ten years ago. Oh my God, was that in in the, the UK? Yeah. Right. And what did you think of them? Oh, they then were, and they now. were great. They yeah. Were incredible. Yeah. And there's another band here called The Church. You also revere, yes. you know, hold you in great reverence. And it's sort of. Do you, have you seen them? Well? Yes, I have. Yeah. They're so great. you know all these people. Do you get, like, some of those that I've mentioned have had huge success. Do you get worried that they've actually almost patterned themselves on you? But maybe you've had more success. You I don't know. It's, it's, that's kind of a hard thing to say, because um, everybody is influenced by so many different things. We we might have that because we are locked in a period, that are, yeah. which is basically mod, right. mod and rock and yeah. roll. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, I can dig it. So you get labeled when you you know when you when you dress like this for years. Um, there was a time when we were getting put down. Dressing like this, you know, these guys are out of time. Yeah, this is not yeah, the, the style. style. This isn't but, vogue. But it's almost it's gone around the circle. Yeah, it seems like it is. So, what do you do, mate, Paul, to actually make you the greatest rock and roll band ever? What, what, what are the outstanding parts of the Flaming Beauty? Um, God. I don't know. I guess playing loud. Yeah, <laughs> we play <laughs> real loud, loud. And, we, and we just have a good time. Mm -hmm. and, and also the choice of material, I think. Right. Now the video side. You haven't made many videos, have you? We haven't done a video in about None. 15 years. Right, so there's about two more, so I heard two all up over all those years. Yeah. When will you do another video? Uh, probably in a couple of days. Great, you're going to do one here? Yeah. That's why you couldn't find anything to play of you, and that's why I was thinking, gee. Well, we were trying to get something out of London, but um, evidently it's lost. Right, and records, single-wise, about eight years since you had one. Yeah, at least. We've got one coming out on Friday. Well, officially. Good. What will have it We haven't had an album out officially in eight years. There's been at least 18 bootlegs. Uh huh. Out in that but not, time. not the, the real biggies out of the major yeah, exactly, companies. Yeah. So, the single, what will it be called? Uh, way Over My Head. Good, look forward to that. And that's the one you're doing the video for? Yeah. Now, outside of that, you're a magician? Yes, I used to, uh, before I got into rock and roll, I used to do magic. When you do that now on your old. stage, in your stage performance? Well, actually, we, we got the offer to do this tour, and it was so quick that we barely got the gear together. So you haven't got to come magic over. So we haven't even got to that side of it yet. Can't have any magic this morning, gang. Not to worry. Sorry about that. If you'd that. like to see them on stage, and they probably get the magic tricks together before they get on stage, it's next, uh, and I believe, Tuesday, yes. Wednesday, Thursday, Tivoli, and then in Melbourne at the club, and also Newcastle and Canberra. Watch out for them. As I said, the critics say, the best rock and roll band ever. And that is some title. Thanks very much for coming in, Paul. Hey, thanks thanks you so much Sarah. for having us. Thanks for having Welcome us. to Australia. Love the mod gear. Now we'll go. This is a, a little bit off the track, but it's good.